Hello and welcome to using Adobe Flash CS5 Reveal. Uh, the very first thing we're going to do, we're going to start on Flash 1-9 and we're going to go through some of the steps to give you some idea. So I'm going to go ahead and start the Flash program. I'm going to do my start. Now in my particular case it's all, all programs, master collection, and I'm going to do my Adobe Flash. Interesting. So we want my Adobe Flash CS5 welcome screen. So let's see. Professional CS5, which is right there. Gives it a minute to actually load up. And I'm just going to be stepping through the individual items, starting with uh, Flash 1-9 as a page number and kind of going through. Now, obviously, you can read, but it's just easier to kind of see it. So the very first thing I'm going to do is click Action Script 3.0. So there's my create new action script 3.0. It then brings me to the screen. I said click the essentials button on the title bar. We're resetting our essentials. So here's our essentials button up here. I can hit my down drop arrow and I can hit reset essentials. Basically that sets everything back to normal. Um, click the window on the menu bar and then note the panels with check marks. So what's going on there is I'm actually taking a look at window and I'm seeing what panels are actually open right now. So I have my timeline, my tools, my properties, and my untitled one. So, you know, there I go. I've closed that. This is kind of calisthenics to get an idea of what's going on. With the Windows menu still open, we want to click hide panel. So I closed it. I was a bad man. So I hit Windows. <clears throat> and then when I go down to hide panels, that's actually going to hide my panels. And then I'm going to click Window. And I'm going to click Timeline. Now the point behind this, and that was uh, number six, and the point behind this is to kind of add the different uh, items onto the screen so you see what those items are. Then I click Window and click Tools, Window. And I want to find my tools. There's my tools. Boop. And then it adds it. And here's my tools over here. And I'm going to click win, Window and then Library. I want to have Window. There's my, li ah, there's my library right there. And notice I've added my library items there. And notice all my items are kind of grouped over here. And let's see. And I have, different, I have two different tabs right here. This is the Properties tab that it's mentioning in point 0.9. And this is the Library tab that it's mentioning in point 0.10. Um, then I'm going to click the Collapse to Icons button, and what that is is you should get to see these little two drop arrow, two double pointing arrows, and I collapse this to icons. You'll notice that they'll come over here, and then I want to do the expand panels, which is a double arrow, which expands it right over here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the Library Panel tab, drag the Library Panel tab to the right of the Properties panel, and what that means is basically I'm grabbing it, uh, and right now it was. When it's right here, it's locked or also considered to be docked. If I take this over here, it is now undocked. And if I collapse my icon, you'll notice it's a little rotating menu. And if I open it up, I have it back there. And I now have it where it's back here. Now what I want to do is I want to open up the color panel menu and that's it takes me a little bit to find this because last time when we were working with this I had some difficult well as it appears these are my items if they aren't there and this has happened before for me personally you can do windows and you come down to your color right here and that should display it and then I can co collapse that to icons if you don't actually just see those and those bring those up so and then once I've got my items, now if I want to move this back, I can redock it by moving it there. I can also hit my essentials, and this is my last point in point eight. And I'm going to hit reset essentials. And what that does is that kind of sets everything back to the way it should have been to begin with. <clears throat> now what we're going to do is we're going to change the stage view and display of the timeline as it's indicated on 1-11. So I'm going to click on my hand tool and if I look down here I should see my little hand tool and that allows me to drag this bad boy around right here so I can modify it. And if I want to I can click view in the menu bar and I want to do view and I've got my zoom in and zoom out. I also have my magnification. So if I want to zoom in or zoom out, if I want to zoom out, I could just click this. There's my zoom out. View. Zoom in. I could also use the control, the 
control plus as keyboard shortcuts and I can do magnification of let's say 50% so now it's smaller view magnification 100% all right so it says move the pointer to the top of the timeline title bar then when the pointer changed basically what it's saying in step three is hey take it down here you'll notice it'll turn this double pointed arrow if I left click and hold on this and drag it up I can make it bigger that combined with if I really need to examine my uh, timeline I can move this around and I can then reset it to 50% if necessary and I can also drag this down put it here and reset that to 100% so I have a better idea notice I'm using my double pointed arrow in both cases all right and then if I come along and I double click timeline notice it collapses that if I double click it again it expands it and I have my the, the only one that I had difficulty finding we can take a find a uh, moment is the view list arrow on the movie menu bar and then click a hundred percent so I didn't actually I had very little luck with finding that now I didn't find the percentages but I can do medium so I can see more of it large so I'm zooming in or I can go back to tiny so I see the whole timeline that's the extent of my uh, knowledge on uh, point seven and if we come up again I do essentials down drop arrow reset essentials it kind of resets everything to the uh, bottom basic as it was so and then I want to do file and I click save so file and I'm going to do save and I'm going to click it now I could do save now I want to go to where my normal files are kept now in my particular case I can just put it on the desktop what I can also do is I can do my down drop arrow here Now you'll have a drive that looks similar to this except it'll have your name right so once again I hit save down drop arrow I go to where my name is right there and then right on my list of things what I probably do is I want to have a folder and I can right click new folder and I'm gonna call this animation and then inside my animation I will then call this workspace so I'm gonna bum, bum, bum. workspace work space and that's and then I'm gonna push actual save and what I've done right there is I've created I've preset my workspace the way I want it to be I'd add in my inf I added in my information and that's about the extent for lesson one uh, if you have any questions concerns or comments please let me know thank you very much for your time